Hey guys, it's DC here, and today we have another episode of Last Week You Asked Me. All right, jumping straight in, we've got a question here from R. Kavanesh who has said, Do you think all the popular companies like Google, Facebook, etc., are secured? Um, the answer is definitely no. There's no such thing as 100% secure. Um, so I highly, highly doubt that these guys are that secure because it's impossible. Saying that though, they do have a very high level of security because they have a lot of money to throw at cybersecurity resources. So they have a lot of people monitoring their environment and making sure that everything's working correctly. So yeah, I guess they're fairly secure, but there's no such thing as 100% secure. Next question is by Aravind Aru, and he's asking which CCNS, I think he meant CCNA, is best in 2020, security, cyber ops, or networking? I've got some good news for you. In 2020, the CCNA encompasses all three of those. So you don't choose a CCNA in security or cyber ops or networking or routing and switching. You just do a CCNA and it covers each and every single one of those. Um, you can check it out on cisco.com, have a look at their learning section and it tells you all about the different uh, CCNA topics that are covered in the 2020 version. Uh, keep in mind that certification doesn't come out until uh, mid-February next year. Next question is from Zav Hengor. I'm sure I've said your name wrong. But anyway, he's saying, hi DC, I'm 28 and finally got back to school at Grand Canyon University studying for a bachelor's in cybersecurity. I was wondering if you could recommend some certifications that I should shoot for while getting my degree and which I should wait till after I graduate. I was also curious if you think it would be worth continuing my education after for a master's degree. Love your videos, keep up the good work, thank you. Thanks for the kind words. Um, so you're at university, you're studying a bachelor in cybersecurity and you want to know some certifications you can do while you're studying. Um, I would have a look at uh, some of the Python courses. I'm sure you're going to learn that in university, but just have a look at the courses, not so much the um, certifications. But yeah, also have a look at the CompTIA Security Plus. Um, it's a pretty good certification to have going into the job industry straight out of university. And often the universities, I'm not sure about this one exactly, but often they don't include that certification as their coursework. So definitely get a CompTIA Security Plus. Um, and then after you're finished, have a look at the CCNA 2020 version or whatever year it is that you finish university. Have a look at that year's version of the CCNA. Cisco's certifications are very widely known, especially by recruiters. It's a bit of a hot topic word I guess so um, yeah definitely get the CCNA and while you're studying have a look at the CompTIA Security Plus. To answer your last question do I think it's worth doing a master's degree after that depends on you alone um, if you want to write a thesis on you know all of the things that you've learnt and the I guess theory behind cybersecurity then definitely yes um, or if you want to take a more academic route into cybersecurity, then yes. But if you just want to get the job done, then maybe no. I wouldn't say it's um, needed at all to do a master's degree in cybersecurity, but it's entirely up to you. Okay, next question was by No Plan, and he asked, Can you check up OPSWAT certifications and let me know your thoughts on if they're worth doing? Um, I wasn't even aware that that software company did certifications, to be honest. Um, so I wouldn't know if they're worth doing. Um, someone in Discord asked me that. It's probably the same guy. Um, and I said the same answer to him. I don't know if it's worth doing because I've honestly never heard of it. Um, based on that, I'd say it's not worth doing. But if you want a certification in a specific vendor software package, then yeah, I guess that's a, a good way to go about getting that. Next up, we've got Little J and they have asked, Hello, I'm... I currently enrolled in college for my associate degree in information systems. I wonder what jobs I can get when I finish the degree. My overall goal will be to become a cybersecurity engineer, by the way. Thanks. So you're doing a degree in 
information systems. You want to know what jobs you can get. I guess you could probably walk into something like a security analyst role or maybe even like data analysis. One of the analysis roles are going to be probably the most easy to get for your position just based on what you're going to learn in university under information systems. What I would do if I was you is finish that degree and also get the CompTIA Security Plus as well as the CompTIA Linux Plus. Um, that'll sort of put you in the right sort of position to get a job as a, a security engineer or maybe even like a consultancy role as a security engineer which both pay more than the other one if money is your ultimate goal. Next up we have a question from Nick G and they have asked do you have any recommendations on building experience? I'm a recent MIS graduate and I'm a little lost as to where I can get started being more hands-on also studying for my security plus. Okay definitely get the security plus. Um, congratulations on graduating MIS that's awesome. Places you should start looking for jobs are at like managed service providers being the number one just because they have a pretty high overturn of um, staff and yeah they're always basically looking for people to come in and take the brunt of the work so saying that you probably won't be doing completely security focused work you'll be also doing a little bit of networking and some sysadmin work thrown in as well. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because you're going to pick up a lot of skills in different areas by doing that way. So if I was you, I would apply for some managed service providers um, and yeah, just sort of work your way up from there once you've got the experience and maybe a few more qualifications um, or certifications, then yeah, apply for other jobs there and sort of work your way upwards from there. Last question for this video is from Demonetization and he has said, I am only 15 years old, but I have my mind set to cybersecurity like you. However, in my country, Singapore, the pay varies from 70k to 30k. Also found that you said 150k from the comments section. Could you explain why there is a difference in salary or am I just looking at it wrong? The difference in salary is that in different countries they pay different rates. Also, experience often weighs out how much you're going to get paid because the more experience usually the more you know um, and the more you know how to deal with certain situations so that's why more experienced people get paid more saying that though the pay also varies on different roles so there's different aspects to cybersecurity the analyst positions are usually at the bottom tier and then the you know I guess pen testers do earn quite a bit at the top end um, architects also learn, earn quite a bit of money up the top there because they're designing full solutions for people. So I guess that's why it goes from 70 to 30 or 30 to 70, depending how you look at it, um, because there are different roles and different tasks and different experience as well as different countries pay different amounts of money. So there's no real answer to that question apart from that it's different everywhere you go. Anyway, that's all we've got time for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave me a like, comment if you have any questions for next week's Last Week You Asked Me. And of course, subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks.